So this is my latest conversion. It's a 2012 Ford Transit, medium wheelbase, high roof. Start on the inside. As you come in here, we've got a shelf here which houses the um, houses the inverter and the leisure batteries. The leisure batteries, three 110 amp hour underneath, and a thousand watt Renergy pure sine wave inverter in there. And to engage the inverter, you just press the on button there on the switch, and then you've got power to the two USBs and 240 over there. Further along is the uh, thermostat for the diesel heater. We'll turn that on there. Set to 22. So this is the uh, heat outlet there, the diesel heater there, and that is plumbed into the uh, main fuel tank. There's a extractor for the toilet which just has a curtain which draws across there. And up above that in the bathroom we've got the uh, electric cupboard. We've got the fuse box there, the isolators, the Bluetooth unit for the Renergy charge controller. And there you can see the, the state of the battery and the charge coming in. So that we've got the kitchen unit, got chopping board on top, and cold water tap, and that drains down here into the wastewater, and that's the fresh water in there with a submergible pump. The other side we've got the gas hub, removable hub, and that all the surfaces have been treated with a hard rain polyurethane varnish. And to the kitchen unit, there we've got the opening window, horse box window. And the twist vent above. Got the swinging table, which is adjusted by these little toggles underneath there. And I'll show you how to make this into a bed. So, to make this into a bed, you loosen off the latch underneath, that then lifts up, and goes into place there. Then remove the remove the leg and slide slide that forward. And these two cushions finish the bed. we go around we've got some USBs here and the uh, cigarette lighter which powers the cooler so we can turn that on there and that's a good way of telling the state of the batteries as well we've got the voltage reading there the cooler is kept underneath here
we've got the porthole window at the back there as well which is opening which is a nice height when you're lying down in bed to be able to look out we've also got the bulkhead storage up here which is lined with uh, 12 mil uh, insulation so on the floor under underneath the subfloor we've got a uh, uh, loose fill insulation and vermiculite insulation underneath um, with board on top of that um, then then another layer of, of 6 mil insulation and then the uh, laminate flooring and along the sides that's all filled with the recycled bottle plastic bottle insulation as thick as it can get wherever it is and in the roof 25 mil insulation on the roof and 25 mil panels then that's covered with a layer of ply and then the batten's there. We'll go along the outside of the van now. It's in good condition. That's the outlet for the extractor there. So if we go inside, we've got the, on the uh, keys there, we've got a remote fob for the uh, diesel heater as well. I'll just start that up really quick. So if you can see down there, van's done 133,000 miles. Pop the bonnet. 